Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sarah Satin. I'm an indie author of four young adult romance books. My latest one is titled Can't Catch Your Breath and you can find that linked down below as well as the others. And I'm still selling signed copies. I still have copies left so definitely go check it out and you don't want to miss the special edition Water Friends 4 copy. Welcome back to my channel. You guys, I'm coming at you with the first video of March. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited for March. I feel like February, the first, the beginning, like the first 20 days flew by. The last eight, so slow. And I have no idea why, but it just was very slow. But I'm really excited for March because I feel like a lot of fun things are happening in March and I'm super excited about them. And so today we're just going to be talking about my March goals, what I want to accomplish for the month, what's going on for the month, and all that fun stuff. Before we hop into the video, scroll down and tap that like button. And if you are not subscribed, because my YouTube analytics tells me that a ton of you are not subscribed, and you want to see more content like this, and you want to see my daily vlogs and live streams, tap that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. All right. So I wrote down my in my notes app what I want my month to be like, what I needed to do this month. I have a lot of, I have a lot of things I must do. All right, so the fun thing is that March actually marks, um, well, it's the end of March. March 31st actually marks the one year since I've been on YouTube. <sighs> one year, that's insane. But in terms of goals, I have five that I brainstormed and want to share. I couldn't think of anything else, but I'm sure I, I'm sure I have more stuff that I want to do, you know? But I want to finish Edith's first draft. If you guys have missed it, I've challenged myself to write a novel in 16 days. Yes, 16 is a very odd number, <laughs> but the day that I decided to do it, um, March 10th was 16 days from then. And I want to finish by March 10th for a reason that's going to be down further on this list. But I want to finish Edith's book by March 10th because I like the idea of having her book fully drafted early in advance. Time is kind of running out with Desel's book because I kind of waited to the last minute to, to draft her book. I decided, ooh, let's publish it at this date. And then I morphed the book's season around that. And if I had to get my butt in gear to publish it by then, which is long story short, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> I don't want to be pushing myself a deadline like that. I want to be able to have the first draft done, you know, the general idea of the story done and so on and so forth. Siri, how many days is it until March 10th? It's 10 days until then. It's 10 days. Today's the 28th. Oh, that's right, because March 1st, 1, 9. I have 10 days left. 10 days to write 31,000. The reason why I wanted to get Edith's book done by the 10th is because that is when my beta readers are going to get back with me with this style's book. I already have two of my beta readers who have already gotten back with me, but I put that feedback on on the back burner because I really need to focus on Edith's book and take some time off from Distel's book. So when I come back to it, I'm fully refreshed. So I really want to compile all those beta edits and then edit Distel's book because I have to send it to my copy editor April 1st. So from March 10th to April 1st, I've got to get my button gear with compiling and editing those beta edits. Goal number three, I want to read a few books. Okay. I need to read a few books, is what I need to say. I have two that I'm for sure going to read. Chain of Iron. No, is that, that one's Chain of, that one's Chain of Gold. Chain of Iron, and then Covet. Those two books are coming out March 2nd, which is tomorrow if you're watching this on Monday, March 1st. So I wanna read those, and those are for sure going to get read because they're, they're a continuation of a series and I cannot just stop mid-series. So I'm going to be reading those, but I also have a few books from a few book boxes that I need to read. I made a TBR video a, few, a little while back and I still haven't read any of those books on that TBR. I don't think. Oh, I had a Rogue of One's Own on there, but I think that might have been a little bit too spicy. But I do want to read some more books this month. Number four, I want to announce Destel's book title. Book's title? Destel's book title. Destel's book's title. The title of Destel's book. I want to announce that title. I'm thinking I'm going to announce it toward the end of the month because when I announce the title is when I'm going to open ARC signups. So I'm going to have a broader pool of ARCs this month. Uh, I'll let you guys know when the sign up goes live so you don't miss it. But I'm really excited to share the title with you. I actually bought bookmarks for Destel's book 
um, and they came in the mail yesterday. But I can't show you because it has the cover and the title on it and I can't show you because you don't know either of them. Oh, I ordered them too early. <laughs> what was I thinking? I'm really excited about Distel's book. I feel like this book is really interesting and I love the premise here. I made a story for my Instagram stories. It has live bands, coffee shops, hidden identities, hot lead singers with tattoos, and a swoon-worthy romance. And I, you guys, I think y'all are going to love it. If you've read Can't Catch My Breath, you know Harry and Stella, and I, if you liked them in the book, I think you'll like them in this book. Lots of fun things are coming up with Harry and Stella. And then for number five, I wanted to write my Patreon story. So if you guys did not know, I do have a Patreon. Um, it is only a dollar a month. That's the only tier that I have for right now. And every single month, I post a short story to my patrons. This month is going to be Vincent's point of view. So I'm really excited about that. I think he's going to be an interesting character to dive into his point of view about. I actually don't know what scenes I want to write from his point of view yet. So if you've read Can't Catch a Breath and you have a few certain Vincent scenes in mind, comment them down below what you'd like to see in his point of view because it might just make it into the Patreon story. And if you want to sign up, I'll leave the link down below. Like I said, it's only a dollar a month and it is a donation to support me in my writing endeavors and in exchange you get one short story every single month. I think we're up to 37 patrons right now, which is insane. Thank you to every single one of you. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let's give them a shout out. I gotta open up my laptop though. I always list them down below in my description box because I am so grateful and so thankful that I want to mention them in some form or another. So thank you to Drea, Katie, Shante, Amara, Liz, Catriona, Kaylee, Catherine, Beta, Zara, Nicole, Megan, Mickey, Catherine, Rhonda, Samantha, Chelsea, Abby, Marin, Kelly Ann, By the Brook, Katie, Kelly, Caitlin, B.A., Heather, Danya, Nichelle, Caitlin, Natalie, Crystal, Jana, Sienna, Right with Melanie, Jess, Sarah, and Sharon. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so, so much for everything. Your kindness is seriously so appreciated. I love writing these short stories and it means a lot that you guys are liking them too. And that even if you don't read them, because not all the patrons read the short stories, I am so grateful and so thankful that you've chosen to support me on this writing journey in that way. But yes, 37 patrons. We're three away from 40, which is kind of crazy. But anyway, those are my five top goals for the month of March. I almost said May. It's only March for March. And I'm really excited to see how the month goes. We've got a lot of writing things to do this month, which makes my little author heart happy because I absolutely love writing. You know, I mean, it's obvious. I have an author tube channel. Um, so I'm really excited to see how the month goes and whether or not I will hit my keep watching to see if I do or not because I'll document it all in my vlogs. If you guys didn't know, I post vlogs twice a week on Wednesday and on Friday and I post sit down videos on Monday. I've been thinking about playing around with the sit down video idea so let me know down below if you guys like these kind of sit down videos. I think I'll always do like monthly goals and a monthly recap but I do try to post sit down videos once a week. However, if you guys prefer the vlogs over the sit-down videos, I think I might just switch out the sit-down videos with vlogs because sometimes it's hard to figure out what I would talk about in a sit-down video, but just let me know. I'm open to suggestions and I love I would love to hear your opinion. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sarah Sutton. I'm an indie author of four young adult romance books and I'll see you next time. Bye. All right. Do you know what time it is, guys? No, 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 nap time. Thank you guys. Thank you. Back to. I just hit nine followers. Nine followers. Nine hundred followers on TikTok. If you guys haven't found me over on TikTok yet, definitely come and join me over there. I post fun stuff. I mean, I think it's fun. It probably isn't that fun. But...